All right, welcome back to Daybreak. Let's talk some headlines Let's do now, it. shall we? Yep. All right. First, after years of anticipation, Kansas City International Airport's yeah. new $1.5 billion terminal yeah. is set to open today. So the city broke ground on that terminal project in March of 2019. Before COVID. That's right. <laughs> that's right. It includes new parking, new security. It's got more restaurants and a lot more as well. The new terminal is still located on KCI Airport property. Now, crews demolished the old Terminal A to build the new terminal in its place. For navigation purposes, they make it easy for you. Airport officials say you can just put in one Kansas City Boulevard and then Kansas City Mo, if you want to uh, get there easily in your GPS or device. One Kansas City Boulevard. Crews built a new parking garage as well, just across the street from the new terminal. So uh, there's a lot to know on this. All, all the questions you could possibly want to ask on this, we will have a great article on this uh, in just a little while on OzarksFirst.com. Okay. But I fly out of KC all the time. Uh, tend to have cheaper flights just because bigger airport. Yeah. Um, I do occasionally fly out of Springfield, but a lot of people fly out of KC, and hopefully this makes it easier. I flew out of KC this summer with my family, and I, I thought we'll just get something to eat at the airport, and there was nothing. So I was so disappointed with it, but makes sense. They were just making way for the new. They were getting prepared. Yeah, must have <laughs> Much been. needed. It's been a long time Much coming, yes. and the parking garage will also be very helpful. There's a, no, the oh, yeah. a free parking garage. I mean, I love free things. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. But great to see and more details on OzarksFirst.com. All right, I want to take you guys to Bolivia now where um, an orchestra group from Paraguay, um, the Paraguay's Katura Orchestra of Recycled Instruments, that's the name of the group. Okay. All they right. gave an unprecedented concert yesterday where else but near a landfill sure. site in the city Check of La Paz great. in Bolivia. Oh yes, and they did this to raise awareness about the environment and the importance of the workers who collect trash. So the group, made up of young people, no, no older than 20 years old, they perform music with instruments made from solid waste that they built themselves. That's pretty awesome. So far, they have performed in 51 countries around the world. The audience there in Bolivia yesterday was made up of authorities, neighbors, and mainly the staff of the urban cleaning company and waste workers. That's the prettiest landfill I've seen. <laughs> that is pretty cool, right? <laughs> like up view. on a hill, and I'm sure it didn't smell great, but it's for a great cause. And how talented, they not only are musically talented, but they're making their own instruments. That's cool. Oh, the Out upright bass that... with the barrel. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that, was, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, and in Greece now, locals uh, in one town there douse each other with colored flour as part of an old carnival <laughs> tradition. So it's the flower war, oh, and it pits revelers against each other with tons of cooking flour tinted with food coloring. Hundreds of people participate in this event on Clean Monday, is what they call it, in the coastal fishing town of Galaxity. And that's west of Athens. So Clean Monday is a celebration marking the end of the carnival season and the beginning of the Greek Orthodox Lent Fast. So they have this flower oh. festival. And this must be where we got the color run ideas for here in America. Oh my gosh, that is true. I can see that. I've made this for the kids, but I used cornstarch, like in the, all my. Oh, okay. But that's interesting that flour. Same I thing. I guess if you're gluten free, though, it's not good. Oh. That's true. <laughs> that's true. You can't participate if you're gluten free. You stay yeah. inside. <laughs> so the tradition says that they started this back in the 19th century when they couldn't have a carnival celebrations, so they would just go to the streets and throw ash and stuff at each other to kind of celebrate. <laughs> um, in some way, but and I now it's turned flower. into the flower. Yeah, for sure, flower festival. Safer. And with the colors, it's more fun that way too. Yeah. Yeah, I like the yellow. It was very. It was yeah. like a shirt today, Natalie. It was a. Uh Bringing on the a nice uh, That's fun, though. I've never heard of that, so I, I, I yeah. learned about yeah, that. Yeah, taking us around the world today. Mm -hmm. well, coming up next, we have one more look at your full forecast for you here on Daybreak. Plus, and some more local news sentencing today for a former state representative accused of fraud. We're detailing the charges against her and how long she could spend in prison. It's 6.42 on your Tuesday. We'll be right back.